Previously on Too Close to Home. I'm, I didn't sign up to work like this when you got married. I love you. You want to talk to Mama about your sister-in-law? She's Why? been going somewhere, and I don't know where she goes. I've been calling you. I've been busy. She saw me last night. Saw you where? Leaving you. I ain't too far from you, little darling. Yeah, well, far enough. Get your hands off. <laughs> I am not playing with you, girl! What you gonna take, bro? Shoot me? Give me my money! Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Sheriff. You see all those news vans? Yeah. Where do you think they're going? They're the van home. You don't think they're going? I think they're going to the trailer park. They're going the wrong direction. Oh, sure, I hope you're right about that. Now nah, I'll find out where they're going. Good. Listen, uh, I need to talk to you a minute. OK. Hey, Sheriff. Hey, Octavia. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing good, and you? I'm good, I'm good. Good. You find out who them people were that shot at us? We're working at it. Okay, well, I think the no. Secret Service... Hey, you know what? Jackson needs some coffee back there. I think you might need to help him out. She's not fine. What's wrong? Bonnie, you didn't tell me she was looking like that. I mean, she's living in squalor over there. She could start a fire. I know. Well, no, no, you don't. She could start a fire, and then all of y'all's trailers would burn down. You got all those kids running around there? Sure, I know, OK. Well, you're going to have to get that place cleaned up. <laughs> she won't let me touch it. What do you mean? She's in bed all the time. She didn't want me throwing nothing away. Well, Bunny, I can't let her live there. I mean, I can't just turn a blind eye to that. I just can't. All right. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, I'll have to request that you get that place cleaned up. <sighs> Sheriff. No. Come no, on. no, 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 no. That's my nice way of saying you have to. I don't have time to do that right now, right? <sighs> All right. I'll have some trustees from the jail come over there and help you. Okay? But you have to do something. All right. You need to get somebody to talk to her. Talk to her? Really? Yeah. Mama's not going to go for that, Sheriff. We can't afford it anyway. Well, don't worry about that. I know somebody that can talk to her and help her if she's open to it. Who? She lives right there in the trailer park. Frankie. The lady in number three? Yeah. <laughs> she's a therapist. Oh, OK. Well, she's not a very good one if she lives in a trailer park. No, that doesn't matter. She can help her. Well, I don't know who she is. I don't know nothing about her. Well, just trust me, okay? Just trust me. You ain't got to get that place cleaned up. We'll do, I'll do what I can. No, okay? you're going to have to do better than that, because if you don't get it done, I'm going to have to throw her out. We'll do it. All right. Okay? I'm sorry to lay all this on you right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. You're just doing your job, though, right? That's right. You the sheriff? Yeah. How's the food here? Pretty good. What are y'all doing here? We got a tip that uh, Annie Bell Hayes lives in this town. Who's that? The girl that was sleeping with the president, allegedly. Oh, no, she don't live here, no. <laughs> Where does she live? She lives over there in Bessemer. Damn. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Hey, if you hurry over there right now, she's over there. She lives in a white house on the corner of Apple Tree and Highway 56. You can catch her if you get over there quick. Thank you. You bet. Come you. on, fellas. I got right. the scoop. Lass. <laughs> you think it's going to throw them off? How much time do you think we got? Yeah, they're like a bunch of ants where one goes, the rest of them will follow. All right. Probably have until somebody tells them otherwise. <laughs> well, I better call Annie and tell her. Yeah, you better tell her to lay low and, uh, one other thing, have you seen JB? <sighs> nope. He was supposed to come over to the jail and talk to me. Well, maybe he drove off and did us all a favor. You better not have. Move in. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> <sighs> How are you? Good. Hey, I'll take you 
he's back there. See it? Yeah. We'll see you. Okay. Hey. How are you? I gotta go. Well, you got more women problems than a woman. What does that even mean? See you later. You think that um, the dressing more dress will help you? <sighs> Who is this? And I know you better have a big tip being this close up on me. No, sis! <laughs> oh, you're home. God. Hey, Bonnie, look who it is. Look who's here. I saw him. Oh, God, you look so good. Damn it, Annie. Hey, Bonnie. I'm gonna go take the food to your mama, okay? All right. All right. Keep him here until I get back. Why? I just need to make sure everything's okay at my spot. Mm, what's going on over there, Annie? Well, Regina's been going out, and I'm not gonna have her hurt my big brother, okay? Okay, good so luck. So keep him here. I said I will. What are you doing back here? Just go, okay? Ain't no sense in hiding from him. He owns the place. He's just gonna come back here. I'm not hiding from him, all right? Good. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm busy today. Yeah, I see that. How are you? I'm fine, Brody. You already asked me that. Bonnie. What? I don't know how much longer I can do this. There's nothing to do. I'm just trying to get to work, that's all. Anything to not talk about us. There's nothing to talk about, Brody. There's no us. You mean that? Why aren't you getting it? Because you're just all over my kitchen table, Bonnie. I'm not listening to this. What the hell is wrong with you? My sister went over to your house last night. Yes, so what? What'd you do? Nothing. Liar. I didn't do anything, Bonnie. Fine, if you want to do anything, I don't really care, Brody, because we are not together, all right? Do whatever you want. Is that what this is? <laughs> you want me to be with her? I want to keep working and focusing on my Damn customers. Damn these people! I need to talk to you! Why don't you understand that I don't want to talk to you right now? All right, why are you pressing me? Because you're lying to yourself, Bonnie. Is that right? Yeah, I know you. I know you, Bonnie. Have you ever known me to lie? No. Have you? No. Then I want you to hear me when I say that I don't want you, I don't want you coming around here, and I want you to leave me alone, all right? Okay. Okay. Are we clear? Yeah, I got it. Good. So if you don't have work here, then will you please leave me alone? Will you go? Lunch? No. Now I gotta get back, get some parts for the tractor so I can get it fixed before dark. Okay. Well, let me know if you need any help. If you can come by. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. I gotta go, though. You good? Yeah, I tell you, he's gonna give me a lift. All right, man. All right. See you later. Take it easy. Why are you doing this? I know him. This isn't right, Erie, and you know it. Ma'am, what's up for the pleasure of the president? Wrong, Yuri. This could ruin his presidency. You need to help him. Ma'am, we should talk to you. Yuri. Ma'am, he wants to talk to you. He won't die. I won't talk to him. You know that will make him very, very mad. Well, I don't care. Ma'am. Stop calling me, ma'am. You sat in the front seat while he was on top of me. Stop it. Ma'am. 
You really hear this. Ma'am. Shut up! Stop calling me ma'am! My name is Annie Bell Hayes. Do you see me? Do you see what he has done to my life? This is my life. Look at it. I don't want to talk to him, okay? Please don't do this, Yuri. Please. I serve at the pleasure of the president. <sighs> well, you and his pleasure can go to hell. Ma'am, please listen to me. Please. I don't want to hear this. Listen, I have been down the show before. And it doesn't end well. It already hasn't ended well. Ma'am. Just leave. Ma'am. Go away. Annie. Listen, I once saw Annie. Just talk to him. Keep him on your side until he loses interest. If you don't allow him to lose interest, then he will feel defeated. He will feel like a failure. He doesn't suffer defeat or failure well. He'd rather destroy a target than ever become a threat again. Annie! Annie! Get in the truck! I can't. Get in the truck now! Ma'am, you need to talk to me. Annie, I don't know who this is and I don't like you. Get in the truck now. Ma'am, you will become a target. To hell with you and your target! Get the hell out of my town! Get in the truck! Okay, 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 I will. Ma'am. Ma'am! Stop! Ma'am! Okay. I'm going to get in the truck. Get in the truck! your lunch. What? Now, why do you have it? I asked Bonnie if I could bring it by. Well, come in. No. No. I mean, I I'm here at the window. Well, why won't you just come on in? Just prefer not to. Oh. Well, you really think you're something, don't you? No. No, I'm just here trying to be nice to you. Well, why didn't Bonnie bring it? Is she mad at me? I don't know. She didn't even... She didn't even come over here for breakfast. You don't ask her why she didn't come for me. Okay, I will, but, but here. Come on, now. even right. Yeah, she is definitely pissed off at me. She is mad at me. Damn it. Okay, well, I, I don't know, but it sure smells good. Now, how the hell do you know what I like? You know, I, I've always liked you, Miss Jolene. Miss? Well, I'm not much older than you. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm only 44. But, no, wait. Ain't Bonnie 32? Well, what do you want, anyhow? Look, I just want to know if you see my sister-in-law. Who's your sister-in-law? Regina. 
She's lived with me for like a year now. I don't know her. Okay, she's about my height. She got braids in her hair. You know what, go and ask what you want to ask, because my food is getting cold if you cannot see. Okay, I just want to know if you've seen her creeping out my trailer. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't understand your language. What does that even mean, creeping? Look, she's been leaving out late at night, and I don't know where she goes. I was wondering if you could just keep an eye out on her. Well, how the hell am I supposed to do that? Now, you know you got more mirrors on this thing than an 18-wheeler. How much you gonna pay me? I can give you $10. You know what I catch or you give me 20? 20? Look, I ain't got $20. Oh. I, no. Okay, okay, 15. 15. I'll tell you what I see on one condition. And what's that? I need you to tell me where the hell Shelby is. Well, why don't you just call her? You know what? Just go and do what I said. Mind your business, find out what I need, and get back to me on the phone. Yeah, okay. I can do it. Deal. Just working on this old car. Oh. <laughs> Your uh, zipper is down. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> you good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. I'm good. I, I thought you'd be at work. Oh, um, I am. Just had to stop by. How's Tina? She, she good? Mm hmm That's good. She good? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me get back to work. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you something? Yeah. You ever seen Regina out late at night? No, I haven't ever seen her at all. Damn, she's been going somewhere. Where? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Boy, where are your shoes? Oh, side. Oh, okay. But come on now, you don't think she's doing something wrong. Look, I hope not. I mean, you know my brother. He loves her. And that, that would devastate him. I mean, if all that time he was in Japan at that base and she was running around on him. Was? Yeah. Is he out? No, no, he's not out. Oh. I don't know why I said was, but oh. um, that would just devastate him. <laughs> She is. Yeah, that would. I mean, you know what it's like over there. It gets lonely. Yeah, that's why I didn't re-enlist. Right. But is Regina good? I mean, you know I never really did like her. But I've tried to support her, you know? I don't know. I'll keep an eye on her, but I'm sure she good. Thank you. Sure. Looking good, Tavia. Boy, don't be flirting with me. <laughs> okay. Hey, here you go. Thank you. Interesting outside. Oh, no. <laughs> Not at all. But I do need to thank you for checking on me. Sure. No problem. So how's it going? Great. It's been great, except for... What? That thing across the park. What are you talking about? <sighs> Regina. What about her? I don't know. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Do I need to talk to her? No, no, no. I can handle myself. Good girl. Well, I must say it's kind of strange. How's that? You've never stopped by here in the middle of the day. Yeah, you're right. I should have known you could see right through me. What is it? You know Jolene? No. 
She lives in trailer number one. I mean, I've heard of her. I just, I don't know her. Well, she's living in a really bad mess in that house over there. And I know you have a background in therapy. All right, look, that was another life. Well, I think she's got a hoarding problem. I think you could help her. I'm trying to leave that life behind, Sheriff. I know, Frankie, but you can't let one person change everything you've worked your whole life for. Listen, I'm a bookkeeper at the mill. That's what I do, okay? <laughs> we both know better than that. Look, honey, she doesn't have to know that you're licensed. Just talk to it her. It just seems risky. Well, you're safe here. I mean, you've been safe since you've been here, haven't you? I didn't feel that way yesterday. Well, don't worry about that. That's all over. Besides, look, I mean... Brody and the church and all of us, we're going to look out for you. Just do us his favor. Okay. Okay, if she wants to talk to me, then, then I'll talk to her. Thank you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> now you want to talk about Regina? I think I got her all figured out. <laughs> I'm sure you do. You know, I want to tell you that uh, that dress, that color really brings out your eyes. Thank you. How's your wife, Sheriff? She's good. Yeah? She's real good, yeah. That's good. Tell her I said hi. Matter of fact, why don't I call her? Well, I, I guess I should be going. You hush and finish your coffee. <laughs> All right. No more talking about my eyes. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, is she on to us? No. Uh, I think she is. You relax. I think, why did she just go into the trailer looking for me, huh? I don't know. But it's fine. I don't know. You relax. Damn. We got this. We got this. You're not gonna tell me that guy is, are you? Why didn't you take me to my trailer? You didn't ask. In fact, you didn't say anything, right? Huh? You need to get this tractor fixed. Are they still in there? Yeah, they are. But I certainly don't want to be here. Look, they're inside. You know? Just try and get this thing started. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, now's your chance to do it again, okay? I don't want to do this. Annie, what else you got to do right now? Pitts is out of jail. Yeah. He did his time, so. What? What? He saw Don Willis, all right? Those guys are asses anyways. Can you hear me that, Rich? You honestly believe that's what happened? It was a bar fight, Annie. It happens. 
You think he got five years in jail for a bar fight? I mean, I thought it was steep. All right, but I didn't really care. I bet you he thought his mama and daddy's money was gonna keep him out. All right, that guy has something else. He's been hanging around Rebel. That's weird. Yeah, it is. I saw her today. Was she alone? Yeah. She was angry about something. Yeah, about me. Why? Just pushing her away from him. Well, she shouldn't be around him. All right, but why are you pushing her? I'll talk to her about it. He's her father. What? You mean he raped you? Yeah. All of us. Bonnie, Shelby, me. Annie. And now Rebel's hanging out with him. And she has no idea, and I don't know what to do. I'll take care of it. What does that mean? I'll take care of it is what it means. No, stop, Brody. I'll call the sheriff, okay? What the hell is Mobley gonna do, Annie? What the hell does Mobley ever do? I'll take care of it. No, okay? No. Whatever you think he can't do, let's do this the right way. But what's the right way, Annie? All right, he deserves to disappear, all right? Nobody should ever see him again. No, okay. You can't go to jail, Brody. So your daddy needs you. I should have done that. I know. Let's call the sheriff, okay? you to come to the farm right now. Okay. Are you all right? Damn it, Mobley. Right now. phone that you need to talk to so badly. Just get them, please. Okay, fine. Did Axe come back? No, he didn't. So he left? Yes, he's gone. <sighs> Why didn't you tell me that you were cheating? Oh, I don't know you like that. You don't. Look, pal. Not now. I don't want to hear it. Victor, Dax is pissed. How do you know if you didn't see him? I'm talking about when he left earlier. You need to apologize to him. I tried. Well, try again. How? Huh? He doesn't even answer his phone and he's not here. I'm son of a bitch to put in my mother and my father. He can't do that. He did. And now they're back. My parents are now back in the Dominican Republic in El Salvador. There's no way. There's no way he could do that. He did it, Valerie. Victor, Dax doesn't have that kind of power. He hasn't been honest with you. I mean, we work in the social office. He doesn't have those kind of connections. You don't know Dax like I do. He's connected, Valerie. And, and he, I'm like. No, he's not. No, he's not. Can you help them? How can I help them? Don't you work in the White House? Yeah, but I can't do anything about an immigration matter. And as far as Dax goes, I'm telling you, he cannot do that. He doesn't have that kind of position. He did it. I know it. I'm not going to get out of here. No, you're not well. Sit down, Victor. Please, just sit down. I need 
to get out of here. I gotta go help my mother. How? How are you gonna help her like this? I don't know, Valley, but I gotta do something! There's nothing you can do, all right? Nothing. Can you find us, please? Please, can you find him? He's gone. But the car's still here. Yeah, because it's blocked by that damn tractor. Find him, please. Okay. I'll try to find him. What was that? Your contacts. Oh, great. Is there anything else that you need? Yes. Okay? Yeah. What? Can I use your phone? Yeah. Some privacy, please? Sure. I know I'm not supposed to call you on this line. But I have... I have a major problem. Please, please help me. Please. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'll take that seat. Thank you. Yes, thanks, thanks. Hello? Yes. Yes, what does that mean? I found a way out of this hellhole, no thanks to you. Well, you can't leave. Why the hell not? I have unleashed all hell on that little town. What? The press should be there swarming like cattle. What are you talking about? He won't stop. Who? Thomas. He won't stop calling that trash, and he sent Yuri down to look after her. Thanks for the information anyway. No, 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 no. I am not involved with Thomas. I need you to stay. I need eyes on the ground. You have lots of people. None who can get close to that whore. I mean, she still trusts you, doesn't she? No, she doesn't. You're lying. I need to get out of here. Oh, calm down. You can and you will. Caitlin? First lady? First lady? I need to leave. What, your little boyfriend? Get another one. You get another husband. I wish I could, but I have too much invested in this one. First lady. I can't deal with all of this. Stay there. Get next to her. Tell me what's going on, and I will make it worth your while. Caitlin. There is nothing here that can make this worth my while. Well, how about information? What kind of information? Your friend has called a certain senator to get some help for his family. Think you're still talking to that guy? Yes, he is. Your nemesis. Breathe. I know the feeling. You're such a jealous little torch. So, how about this? You stay there for me, and I will continue on this end to make his life a living hell. Do you know how small this is? What does that mean? You're the first lady and you're wasting your time on some girl from a trailer park. <laughs> Is this from the guy who had his lover's family deported? Well, now you look better. I feel better. Good. Going to address the nation, are we? This evening. Good. What's this smile for? <laughs> Nothing. You're up to something. Well, I'm always up to something, like a man who's had way too many blue pills. <laughs> How did that work out for you anyway? Lovely. She rather enjoyed it. Oh, yes, but your heart didn't. No, it didn't, did it? Yes. Mr. President, First Lady. Hello. We have your speech prepared. 
to address the nation, and then we'll be doing a sit-down interview with America now. The entire country will be watching according to the polls, so it's important that we know what we're saying exactly. Mrs. Christian, we'd love for you to wear a happy color, mm. something warm. And sir, we need you to wear the red tie. It's important that you look 100% covered. So, shall we go over the talking points? Yes, please. Great. <sighs> Hey, Brody, Anna, Bonnie's been trying to call you. Okay. Guess you gotta be pretty shook up, huh? Yeah, you can say that. Listen, uh, Bonnie needs to tell you something, all right? Um, have either one of y'all seen JB? Sheriff, we got a problem. What is it? You know, that pisses out of jail. Yeah, darn him, he is. And he's living with his folks again. There on that hill. That's right. There's nothing you can do about that. Nothing but watch him, honey. Well, he's looking at Rebel. I don't know how that could be. He can't. Well, I saw it with my own damn eyes. All right, I'll go and pay him a visit. Sheriff, listen. I know what he did. If you don't handle it, that son of a bitch is gonna disappear. Now, Brody, you know you can't say something like that to me. I mean it. You better get his ass out of here. Brody, you know his family is very well connected. What do you mean by that? Are you saying because he has money, he doesn't have to face justice? He went to jail. Yeah, now he's out to rape more girls. We'll keep an eye on him. You know, Sheriff, there are a lot of little girls in this town. I know that. Like I said, I'm keeping an eye on him. Just trust me. Anything happens to any one of them, Sheriff, it's on you. Remember, Sheriff, you don't have to worry about watching all the girls. Just the poor ones. He'd never touch the ones with money. Listen, I'm on it, all right? I promise you, I will warn him about talking to Rebel, okay? I promise. See y'all later. People here, reporters. A few of them. Most of them been thrown off, sent over to Bessemer to find her. Hot damn. What? Baby. Yeah, baby. Baby. This room is full of opportunity. What are you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Rick? Baby? Yeah, baby. I need you to work with ladies. You know I can do that. And I got men's. Starting with him right over there. You better be careful. What I gotta be careful for? You stupid little... Oh, damn, who whooped your ass? I swear, girl. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and lay a hand on me. Huh? I'll have your supporters all over your ass. You know the sheriff is gonna pee? Yeah, well, what else is new? You better call him. Rick, will you shut the hell up? Don't scare me, J.D. Get it I should. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies, y'all want to dance with a real cowboy? No, thank you. Are you sure it's going to be your loss? I know Annie. Who? Annie, the girl y'all looking for. The one you say is with the president. I know her, and I know her well. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Come on, we'll buy you a drink. How about you buy me three? Does she live around here? 
Dance with me and I'll tell you. That's it, Rick. We'll get started over here. Hi. Hi. Bitch, Maeve. Maeve, you are awfully rude. I'm Shelby. That's still rude. Yeah, well, that's because you don't know who I'm kin to. Who are you kin to? I'm Anna's sister, babe. So you're Anna's sister? That's what I said. Well, I'm John. So you was a reporter? Yeah. All right, well. Buy some drinks and, uh, I'll talk. Okay. Got a credit card? Yep. All right, well, let's open the tab. Hey, Lily, come open the tab. Bring it in, boys. Come here. What's come up? here. What's up, JB? You call? Now, we, we didn't do a good enough job on that queer. The one I grabbed my hand? That's right. And now they done brought another one down here over at the hotel. JB, we'll have a new Hey, don't, place. don't you worry about that, Don. All right, now we need to go get him and that other one and show him how it's done down here in Happy. I'm all for it. But I heard he's a, a, a Dr. Dr. Allen. Yeah, well, that don't matter. All right? I'm gonna burn that house down to get that son of a bitch. You know? <laughs> That's your daddy. And your brother. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna get them both. Next, on Too Close to Home. Hello, Shelby. You sure do look good. What the hell do you want? Tell you. Tim? Mm -mm. No, he's married. We ain't asking you to sleep with him. We just need to get him out into the open. All right, we'll take it from there. So what's wrong with him? Probably nothing. What is this bitch doing? She has mental issues that do not allow for her to care for anybody else but herself. Anna is a sociopath. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. <laughs> 